Good evening. Good evening. Come on, you can do better than that. Good evening. This Good is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and, and be glad in it. Thank God for uh, who he is. We thank God for this opportunity to gather together in his name. I could never really think of uh, any better occasion uh, to come together in the presence of the Lord than at the time of baptism. This is very, very special to yes, me. Yes. This is very special to the Lord, and ought to be special to us as a church family. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we thank God for this day. Welcome to each and every one of you. Uh, welcome to our candidates for a baptism. Uh, to all of the family members that are gathered here this evening. This is a day to be remembered. So I know you're going to get your, your cameras out, your camcorders out, take your pictures. And this is a day to be remembered. This is a day of rejoicing. And we thank you, Lord, for it. In chapter 3 of the Gospel of Matthew, it is written, In those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the desert of Judea, saying, Repent, the kingdom of heaven is near. This is he who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah. The voice of one crying in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight the path for him. John's clothes were made of camels there. He had leather belt wrapped around his waist. His food was locust and wild honey. And people went out to him from Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole region of Jordan confessing their sins. And they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. But when he saw many of them, the Pharisees and the Sadducees coming, where he was baptizing, he said unto him, You brood of vipers, who warn you to flee from the coming wrath, produce fruit in keeping with repentance. Do not think that you can say to yourself, we have Adam, Abraham as our father, and I'll tell you out of these stones, God can raise up children of Abraham. And ax is ready, already at the root of the tree. And every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. He says, I baptize you with water for repentance only. But after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not fit to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and, and he will clear the threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn and burning up the chain with an unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to thither him, saying, I need not baptize you, and you do not come to me. And do you come to me, rather? And Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this, to fulfill all righteousness. And John consented. And as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went into the water. And at that moment, heaven opened up. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And the voice from heaven saying, This is my Son, whom I love. And with him, I am well pleased. Father, we stand before you right now with three souls willing to, to go under for you. We pray that you are indeed well pleased, Father. Yeah. We thank you for this opportunity to come before you in this place, Father. Thank you for giving us the whereabouts that we may do a baptism here yes. in your house. Yes. In the house that we call home. Yes. Father, I just pray right now for the for the souls of these who are being baptized, yes. that they experience the death, death, burial, and the resurrection that you will yourself experience. Father, let us rejoice. Let us rejoice knowing that they are a part of the kingdom, Father. Yes. A 
part of the kingdom of everlasting life. Master, we just thank you for this opportunity. So let them be witnesses in, in their homes and in, in their schools and their workplaces, Father, that you are indeed Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And that you are indeed the Savior of the world. That is why we're so joyous this afternoon. That we are fulfilling your commands. Baptized in the name of the Father, and, and the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. This is Jesus' name. In right. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend Brown. Because I indicated earlier in the service that this is indeed for me a great privilege. It's just something that is from the heart as a pastor to, to be able to baptize, to bring into the church new believers. It, it sets the heart of you know, I so wish that uh, you know, we could do this on our Sunday mornings. I know logistically it's, it's kind of complicated. I wish we had more people that would be out just to witness this. Because what we're really witnesses, witnessing is additions to the yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not just to a church, but to the yes. family of God yes, sir. first before the church. Yes, sir. And so I just want to take this time to encourage Zion and Veronica and Roderick in the decision that you've made to be baptized. That without a doubt, first, giving your lives to Christ is the most important decision that you will ever make in your life. And that as your pastor, I'm so proud. I know you've got your family here. You've got camp quarters going. Probably pictures that will be taken. We're so we were proud of you and honored to be here with you this evening. Yes, sir. So I have a few words of encouragement that I want to, to speak to you all and to the families. Our Savior commands us to follow his example in all things, including baptism. Matthew 28 and 19 says, Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and, and the, the Son, Son and the Holy Spirit. At the beginning of his public ministry, Jesus chose to be baptized. John the Baptist called the Jewish people to confess their sins and demonstrate repentance through immersion in the Jordan River. Sinless Jesus joined the crowd at the river and asked John to baptize him. Jesus. The Lord chose to associate himself with sinful men. Yes, sir. He who knew no sin became sin for us. Yes, sir. That we might be made the righteousness yes, sir. of God through Christ. Yes, sir. How important is your baptism? Yeah. It is your personal identification with the greatest act of human history. The death, burial, and the resurrection, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Baptism does not save you. No. Salvation comes from faith in Christ alone. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. Yeah. Your gift before God is removed the moment you trust in Christ for salvation. But baptism is your personal testimony too. And the inward assurance of your passage from the old life to the new, to life. The new, life. To the new life. As you stand in the water waiting to be baptized, it symbolizes Jesus dying on the cross. Yes. As you are lowered into the water, it symbolizes Jesus' burial in the tomb. Mm -hmm. And as you're raised from the water, it symbolizes Jesus' rising from the dead. And since you personally, and since you personally are being baptized, you are also saying, I died with Jesus Christ. Yes. I was buried with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now I'm raised, raised with, with him to yes. a brand new life. Yes. Yes. Baptism allows you to demonstrate, allows us to demonstrate our connection with Jesus and with our brothers and sisters in Christ. We are all members of one body under the authority of the same Lord. We celebrate you, Zion, Veronica, and Roderick. Mm -hmm. As you continue to walk in the newness of life, symbolized through your baptism, we challenge family and church alike to remain instrumental in the spiritual growth of these candidates. May we all be reminded that of that precious day that we went down 
into the water. Before we baptize, I want to present the certificates to our candidates because they're going to be a little side in a few minutes. Yeah. And so we want to give you your certificates while you're dry so you can pass them off to family members and get them a little later on. And so I'm going to read one of the certificates first and then I'll, I'll give them out. This certificate certifies to our candidates that they were baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit on the 8th day of May, 2013 at Living Faith Community Church of San Antonio, Texas. I love the way that sounds. <laughs> For are you aware that all of us were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too may walk in a new way of life. Romans 6, 3, it's Romans chapter 6, verses 3 through 4. And so I want to give these certificates out. Come up one by one. Miss Zion, come on up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Zion, we'd like to present you with this certificate. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Sister Veronica Haywood, come All on right. up. All right. All right. <laughs> we'd like to present you with this baptismal certificate. Amen. Amen. All right. And lastly, my brother. Four. But, you know, I'm just at a season of my life and a walk with the Lord that I just, I feel like it's something I need to do again. All right. First time I did it, it was, it was not, you know, all that I thought. But now that I know Jesus as my yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really know what I know that I know. Yeah. Hey, would it be okay if I if I do this again? Yeah. yeah. And I said, certainly. <laughs> so, so we present to you your baptismal certificate. All Lord. right. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. 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 Take me to the water. Yes, sir. It's that time. Okay. Take me to the water.
confession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, yeah. and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Brother, my brother, on your confession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. souls to Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Well, at this time, we're going to go ahead and, and close. I have a closing hymn. I want us to sing with saying, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Yes. Let's just sing one, one stanza of that, and then we'll have our closing prayer and go into our blessed assurance.